This is a rock. Rocks are boring, so how do we make this rock interesting? Or even fun? Well, we just need some fun ideas. Maybe the rock has lasers. Lasers are always fun. Or maybe the rock just looks cool. Hey. Or the rock could become a pro wrestler. Or what if the rock was a horror author, and his creations were coming to life around him as he finds his grip on reality slipping, leading the rock into a slow descent into madness? Hmm, okay, maybe that's too far. Feral North is a narrative-driven game, so the answers to these questions would be driven by the narrative. So what is this level trying to say? Well, the level this rock exists within focuses on a very specific feeling. The feeling of going back to a familiar place, and the strange sense of it having moved on without you. This summer I went back to Canada for the first time after a few years away. And when I got there, I realized I had this idea in my head of what it would be like. A subconscious sense of ownership over a place I had spent so much time in. But of course, I don't own Canada. And it continues to change and move on with or without me. It's like going back to your childhood room to find your parents turned it into a storage closet. You have no reason to expect these places to remain frozen in time without you, and it's not necessarily a positive or a negative feeling, it's just… strange. To find that all these memories you hold exist in a place that no longer does, or at least, not how it did before. So how does a rock tell that story? What kind of properties could we give the rock to help express that feeling? That sense of change? Well, what if the rock wasn't there anymore? Well, the absence of a rock isn't particularly interesting. Yo, there's no rock here. Yo, what? There's another spot without a rock. Okay, so how does the absence of a rock become interesting? The player has no reason to believe there was ever a rock there, so they have no reason to stop and consider when it's gone. But the characters do. So we could have characters remark, hmm, I seem to recall a rock being there, but in actual fact, it appears the rock I remembered being there is no longer there. And I find that to be noteworthy exposition that you as my dog should hear because it demonstrates that I'm feeling a sense of this place having changed without me. Yeah, that's no good either. The dialogue could obviously be better written, but something more subtle might be better. So what if the rock isn't there except when it was? The world around us changes all the time, for infinite reasons. And the more time has passed, the more changes you're likely to find when you return. Some things will be just as you remembered, but many other things will have changed, and some things you may have forgotten about entirely until you return. The result could be binary, the rock is either there or it isn't, but that leaves more questions than answers. Was the rock intentionally removed, or did it wash away in a storm, or maybe if enough time has passed it was whittled down to nothing but sand blown away in the wind? And maybe it's alright to leave some of these questions unanswered if the question is more interesting than the answer, letting the player find their own story in the missing rock. But sometimes, it might be worth letting the rock tell us its story. Maybe the rock you remember rested on the roots of a tree, propping it up in an otherwise precarious situation. Maybe that tree fell and the rock with it. Maybe a sign that stood beneath, proudly welcoming visitors to a family farm, was crushed by the weight of the falling rock. But wait, why hasn't the sign been repaired or replaced? The story of the rock introduces threads that we can pull on to unravel more information about the space that we're in. Perhaps the family moved on, leaving the farm you remembered to fall into disrepair. Or maybe the land was sold, making way for a new wind farm to power the surrounding islands. Either way, the farm you remember, the farm you visited and worked with your dog while your mother was sick, is gone. The place holds the memories, you can see what it once was, but this rock tells us that it's no longer the same space that we remembered. It's moved on with or without us. So how does this rock's story of changing spaces enforce the larger narrative of the game? How does this rock engage with the mechanics of the game? Farewell North is a game about restoring color to the world, but the color isn't literal. As the dog, our job is to help our human on our journey through the islands, and color is the visual representation of how we, as her dog, perceive her emotional state. When she's frustrated or anxious, the world around her grows darker, and when we bring her a spark of joy, we're able to bring color to her world and help her overcome obstacles. Memories are powerful things, they hold significance to us. So maybe that spark of joy we're looking for exists in the past. Maybe we're able to take one last stroll through a familiar farm that no longer exists, now the private property of a cold and unfamiliar entity. Perhaps along the way, we're able to remind her of the Highland cattle who used to call these fields home before the land was sold. The fallen rock prevents us from exploring an old favorite hiking trail, but that doesn't mean we can't relive those treasured memories. The rock tells us that the space has changed, but it doesn't tell us how we should feel about it. A fallen rock isn't necessarily better or worse than it was before, unless of course you ask the sign. It's just different. And sometimes change can make way for new places to explore, with new memories to make. Sometimes there's happiness to be found in the past, but hopefully it's also in the present. What was once a well-manicured field has now overgrown with beautiful vines and wild flowers, attracting birds and insects that otherwise had little reason to visit. In fact, if we can't find sources of happiness in the present, then we're stuck simply living in the past, and that's not healthy. As much as we may feel unease at these special places changing, we should look for where there's room for new happiness to be found within them. 
And so it turns out a boring old rock can tell us a whole story by introducing a new mechanic that supports the narrative and complements the existing mechanics of the game. Or you can always add lasers. That works too. I hope you enjoyed this rather strange devlog. I thought it'd be interesting to share the mechanic with you in the same way I discovered it, through a focus on narrative and lots of trial and error, rather than diving into the details of the GPU'd stencil buffer and all the technical bits that make the mechanic tick. In fact, the mechanic organically opened up a whole line of thinking I hadn't really anticipated at first, with my initial idea being much more black and white, with the past being happy and the present being sad, until I realized that wasn't really a message I wanted to convey. I quite enjoy exploring the grey areas between, both literally and figuratively, and this mechanic let me do that in a way that was personally eye-opening and, I hope you'll agree, gave a compelling result in-game. Thank you so much to all my patrons, I appreciate every single one of you. I want to give a special thank you to those on the Magpie tier, and my Osprey supporters Elegon and Spooky Josh. And to everyone else, thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one.